Pilots and Ground Crew, welcome back to my channel. Well, uh, I get asked a lot about patches and stuff, uh, comments and emails from new pilots, which is the best to buy, which should I buy, do I even have to buy one? Which the answer is no, you don't have to buy one, you don't have to buy anything, but depending on what you're doing, it's handy to have. Right, I'll just show you something funny. Here's the size of your latest sort of patches, which I'll talk you through in a minute. Right. That's the first one I ever had. <laughs> it's bloody huge, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And uh, I nearly bust my goggles putting this on, and uh, it's not very good. You get me? So I got this about four years ago, and uh, I believe. Uh, I think I only flew with it two or three times. It's ideal for like a ground station, but no good for your goggles. But like I said, it was about, I don't know, three, four years ago, something like that. Right, but anyway, getting back to the uh, the main event, shall we say, patches. First thing I'm going to cover, right, is a linear patch. This happens to be from Menace RC and uh, it's the bandicoot now if one of your quads or your quads have got these little whip antennas right they're called whip antennas well they're actually not called whip antennas they're called linear antennas right now this is the sort of patch you want right you will get better range better coverage when you're flying your little micros and everything if you're using one of these so i definitely say get yourself straight away a bandicoot right little patch antenna for your goggles if you're using whip antennas you will see an enormous an enormous right range difference okay i'll leave link in the description to all these but now now getting back <coughs> To the main question that I get asked and stuff, right? As you see, I'm using many here, and this is uh, Racer Star, right? But uh, you can get Fat Sharks or what, whatever. But I prefer Menace, right? And Racer Star, but each to their own. But the main thing I get asked is, why would you need one, and do I get a big one or a little one or whatever? Well, the, first of all. For new pilots, remember, right? The reason why you would want one is because you get more distance, right? And you'll cut through where uh, branches, your signal will cut through branches and stuff like that better towards your goggles. And you get a, you get a, a not necessarily, well, you do actually get a wider range than a normal uh, polarized antenna which i don't happen to have one handy but you know what i mean because that does the full 360 whereas these things only go off on an angle like that however distance wise you get much more distance but if you're just flying, if you're just a park flyer and stuff like that and you're not going to go too far and you're not going to be behind trees, don't even bother with one of these. You see people using them and you think, what's that? Don't bother with them. But if you're going to be flying sort of like further away and deep, deeper into like woody area for want of a better words, right, uh, then pick up yourself a patch. But which one do I get? Do you get a small little nice one or do you get a big bugger right and you can get some that's huge right like that one i just showed you well it all depends on what you're doing now i've shot a couple of videos using this one right which is the uh, racer star i keep saying racer star i'm sorry relic or real acc as some people say yeah and the uh, menace uh, patch the invader now what i've done is I've done two two flights, short flights, very short, right? Uh, just behind a couple of trees and stuff, and also slightly more long distance, about 300 meters, maybe 400 meters, right? Just so you can compare the two. Well, you'll see in the video, there's no comparison. They're basically both the same. Now, there's a comparison in price, right? But they're basically both the same. Right, so you could get this little one and just mount it, forget this, right? The only reason why I put this on was to make the uh, video fair because there's one on this uh, patch. So I thought it was only fair that I put 
an uh, extension on this one uh, if not somebody will say yeah but if you just connected that straight to your goggles you know, the signal will be different uh, you know what I mean but yes there's not really any difference the only time these really start to come into the run is as I said if you're really starting to push it right, more long distance now I've been using one of these for ages and I'm super happy with it right? does the job perfectly right? however uh, last year as some of you will know I put uh, an FPV set up on my planes on a couple of my planes and now I want to get a bit more range I decided to go for the real ACC because it's a triple feed patch now what does that mean some people will think now to keep it simple for new pilots right if I just turn that on a side actually if you can see inside how can I angle this you can see just trying to get the angle just inside this part here to this part you'll see three pins coming down right and explaining it extremely simple it feeds the signal in in three different angles to get a better picture that's really explaining it simply before anyone starts leaving comments and saying yeah but George you know what now the good thing about these is if you happen to uh, use left-handed or right-handed circular polarized you can choose left or right. right however whichever one you're using you need to put some sort of uh, well not some sort you definitely want an antenna cap right you can pick these up cheap as chips about a pound or two pound or something like that but you want some sort of antenna cap over the opposite side right so that uh, basically the feed only comes in one way if not you're gonna start getting distortion and stuff you don't have that problem with this one because uh, it's just it's just your single feed straight in right? and like I said you can just screw that straight onto your goggles and it takes up no room you put a little angle bracket on it like that and uh, it'll sit on your goggles dead flush and uh, yeah away with none of these big cables and stuff however as I said if you're thinking about going more long distance and I've noticed there's more and more people now building long range quads long range planes long range you know then you want to start thinking about patches and stuff but uh, yeah so watch the videos make up your own minds but as I said if you're going to be flying close to yourself don't even waste your money on them all right if you're going to be just sort of like flying close but behind some trees and things like that just get yourself a little and it'll do the job all right you don't need anything big and bulky all right however if you want to uh, cover yourself i right, cost the roughly the same price all right most things are nowadays if you want to cover yourself for the future and you want to be close get a good signal through the trees get a good signal and through the distance get a good signal then you want to be going for something more like this or definitely something like this or like that all right but it's up to you like i said i've done a comparison video and i've done it just so you can see pound for pound there's not a lot in them until you start going a long way and i can't do a video like that at the moment all right because the weather's too bad all right i need to get my plane set up and get flying further out and stuff all right but uh, getting back to the original questions, do I need one, should I buy one George? Well, no, not if you're just flying reasonably close, but if you're flying further away, then yes. So watch the videos, right, there's two lots, there's one, a distance one, a slight distance one, and there's one behind some trees, I believe I've already said that, I am now repeating myself, but uh, it's only short, it's only quick so uh, enjoy and i hope this helps and if there's any questions please leave a comment all right because uh, as always i try to keep these videos extremely simple for new pilots and i know occasionally uh, somebody wants to know something a bit more technical so just ask okay then uh, thanks for watching and here uh, comes the uh, video rule vt hello pilots i'm um, just jumping in here from the future so to speak 
Uh, I didn't mention the camera on the actual quad, right? It's a new Runcam Micro jobby, and I haven't got the saturation and the colour and everything right yet. So don't go by the the actual picture quality when you're thinking about colours, right? But the main test for the patch is how good, whether well, not how good, whether or not you get any break up and stuff like that. Okay, and one last thing to make the. Uh, the test difficult I uh, did it on the siren and tilted the uh, I'll put a picture up there just there yeah I did it on the siren and tilted the actual FPV antenna right down so it's behind the HD camera it's behind everything just to make it a little bit more difficult okay then uh, that's it so back to the video and roll VT again